Hey guys, Mr. Wahidul Haq here back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing for you the HP 250G7. Uh, I've got no tripod at the moment because uh, I left it in the garage while I was working on the Audi RS3. So, you see a video on that soon. Well, not soon, but I'm going to edit it soon. You'll see in about a couple of months. <laughs> I'm very slow to upload. Alright, uh, so this is the HP 250G7. It's an i5 processor, can't remember the exact model, might be on here, but it's pretty decent spec and uh, I got it for 450 something like that, good price for what you get. You get 8 gigs of RAM, uh, 256 SSD, I'm not sure if it's a, a M.2 though or normal SSD so we'll have to find out. So the rest of the box is pretty plain, I've just showed it, I've showed it before, I've checked it before I mean, so it's very odd. So the reason I got this is because the Dell one I bought is fucking shit. Even though it's a gaming one, it's fucking shit. It overheats, it's got lots of problems. Uh, if you do, if you are watching this from watching my Dell video, don't go for the Dell because... Or don't, don't even download any Dell software because they give you blue screens, which I found out from the forums and stuff because I kept getting a blue screen every two minutes. I couldn't do anything, literally. Oh. Doing this with one hand is very hard. Okay, we we'll have to go over it again, 100%. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But when the Dell did work, it was good for the time, but it'd have really bad problems. Like when you plug the charger in, it freeze up and then blue screen. Very weird shit like that. It's very odd. So yeah. It's just, just going to be my... What do you call it? my home use work on okay and we'll look inside here okay so yeah they've not got the specs on here so i'll have to find them and tell you what they are so this way you get inside here let me take everything out got a normal three pin adapter normal charger block this is quite tiny you know not gonna lie the wire is quite long though so that looks okay hopefully the charging port is on the right side the Dell one had it on the left side, which is pretty awkward because my charger port's on the right. So yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? That's one thing that annoyed me. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna pull this out. I need two hands for this, so I'm gonna pull it out. And then I'll I'm gonna pause the video, pull it out, and then show you. Just the laptop itself. Pull it out slowly. There you go. I'm really liking this packaging. Oh, that's really quite light, you know, compared to my one. This weighs 1,000, not 1,000, well, it is grams, in grams it is, yeah. But this weighs 1.65 kilograms or something, compared to my laptop, which is 1.8, I think. And it's definitely a lot thinner. Wow, let's have a look here. Okay, so this is the laptop itself. Look how nice that looks. I'm liking it. It's like a dark grey. The camera makes it a lot brighter than it actually is, but yeah, it's not that bad. So it's quite thin for what the specs is. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's just uh, how it goes in. Oh, it'd be better if it closed more, but yeah, it is what it is. Alright, so you got the SD card reader on the side. Uh, that's a USB 2.0. This has a USB it's got two USB 3.1s, which is on the other side. Kensington lock. Uh, there's your fan there. Just one fan, because it's not really... It doesn't really need much. It's not a gaming PC. And you got exhaust there as well. If you need... Just get rid of the heat. I like these new designs of these uh, Ethernet pots. It's like a standard now. It's like makes it design thinner. And then when it's in use, it pulls out like that, which is really good. Uh, there's a charging port. Ah. Damn it. The charging port's on the left, which is horrible. Why they do this? Why they do this? I don't know. Okay, got HDMI port and two USB 3.1s. It says SS on it, super speed. And yeah, you got the 3.5 millimeter jack. And yeah, let's have a look at the bottom. Okay, it says HP. Not sure how you can see it. There you go. HP 250G7. Okay, so the input is. 19.5 volts at 2.31 amps it's got real tech radio everything real tech basically audio radio 
so it's called bluetooth wi-fi it's all real tech hp this is okay oh look at that nice screen protector i'll do a quick boot for you as well after i've done this okay so this has a 15.6 inch uh, anti-glare display as you can see with the brightest flash on it still manages to do its best and it's got like a slight greenish tint i'm not sure if that's the led that's why yeah it's the led great creates like a slight thin greenish tint when it's too bright but the one thing i don't like about these anti-glare screens is the colors are very they're not very true colors if you know what i mean they're not like true to the color but yeah it's a really nice design i'm liking it i think that's the button yeah uh this is a backlit keyboard so that will light up oh well, even has flight mode you don't see that much on the laptop it's actually a lot lighter than i thought uh this keypad oh. Oh, it's not like mine. It's got separate buttons. So this is just a touchpad. Okay. FN button. The keyboard's quite spaced out and quite big, so that's not bad. Alright, guys. Let me tell you the specs now, quickly. i5 inside, 8th gen. Alright, so this has the i5 uh, 8265U. Uh, U is like the, uh, what do you call it? Power efficiency ones, which is really good. This only takes 15 watts of power usage or 25 watts when it's on the max speed compared to the one i have in the dell which uses 45 watts at standard that has a h1 h is used the letter at the end usually tells you if it's performance or power so yeah u is a uh, more tend to be for normal use for normal uh, balanced use uh, h is for power because you get more you use more power as well so yeah Okay, so this 8th gen, it was released in 2018, the CPU was anyway. It's worth about 300 quid, just the CPU alone. Uh, it's got 6 MB cache, uh, L3, so that's really good. It's real, it's the L3 cache is the fastest memory on the actual thing, because it's right, it's on the CPU, literally. Okay, so it's got 4 cores, 8 threads, so 4 cores is really good. This laptop will manage really well. It's got 8 gigabytes uh, DDR4 RAM. The CPU can... The normal clock speed is 1.6 gigahertz, but then it can. It has an Intel Turbo Boost that can go up to 3.9 gigahertz when you need it, so that's really good. Uh, it's got Intel HD Graphics 620, which is the latest one, I believe. But uh, oh no, there's newer version out, yeah. But yeah, that this one will handle games pretty well. Not gonna lie. Uh, it's got 1080p display. I've already said that. 15.6 inch anti glare. Uh, the the SSD is that M.2. I realized. But you can add a hard drive in as well it doesn't have a disk drive for that reason because you got that spare space there for that hard drive if you want to put in uh it comes with windows 10 home uh that's about it really i'm gonna go ahead and boot it up now let's do a quick boot up let's let's hope this has charged the dell didn't have charged so yeah and uh let's hope this don't have any problems either if it does then uh Oh yeah, you're gonna see me unboxing a new gaming laptop anyway. This is just for work, so let's go ahead and do it. Why did they not come with charge? <laughs> oh, I like the power button though. Yeah, so you're not gonna be able to see that because uh, it's got no charge. So thank you guys for watching anyways. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, if you want me to do more laptop unboxings, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.